often tell students to use harmonic minor scales when soloing over a dominant seventh that resolves up a fourth to a minor chord. In other words, if you're going from an A7 to a D minor, you might play a D harmonic minor scale. That's nice, but oftentimes students get stuck in the bottom of the scale and as they're working their way up, as they're soloing, the moment is gone because the chords have already flown by. So the most important notes are actually the five, six, seven, and eight notes of that harmonic minor scale. So in the key of D minor, it's the A, B flat, C sharp, and D that are actually the most important. That's where all the spice is. So I tell students to just play those four note fragments uh, in all 12 keys. Learn the harmonic minor scale, that's great too, but then learn the four note fragment. So learn your harmonic minor scale, but then learn the fragment of that scale, the fifth, sixth, and seventh note of that scale. It's so spicy, there's a lot of tension, and that's what really gets our ears to hear that it's harmonic minor.